Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation course on the iModel Composition Server for PDF. In this lesson, we'll be using ProjectWise Interplot Design Scripts specifically to support line style widths for existing PLT CFG files. We will introduce concepts of transferring traditional plotting standards so they are available for plotting use for the iModel Composition Server. During this lesson, you will learn how to create a design script to support your desired line style and how to access sample design scripts for future reference. Resymbolization is the process of changing characteristics of an element within a CAD file. When these changes are applied to printed output or to published formats such as a PDF, the process is referred to as print resymbolization. Design scripts and pen tables control print resymbolization. So why use a design script? Well, design scripts can be more powerful than traditional microstation pen tables and offer more flexibility as well. Design scripts can help highlight specific elements by changing the color, width, or line style, substitute the current date for a specific text string, control the order in which elements are plotted, obtain consistent colors on various plotters with the use of color tables and libraries, define custom line styles, area fill closed elements with a specified color or pattern, omit specific elements from the plot, and create content-rich PDF documents. The design script resymbolizes elements from the CAD file as they are processed by the MetaFile interpreter. A design script modifies an element's attributes if it meets a certain criteria. For example, you can write a design script that checks the element to see if it is on a particular level. Then you can resymbolize the element's display attributes if it's on a specified level. If level symbology is enabled for the design or reference file you are plotting, Interplot Organizer applies the level symbology before executing the design script. The design script overrides any other display attributes enabled for the file. For example, elements filled by a design script always plot fill, even if the area fill display attribute is disabled. The following design script demonstrates two techniques commonly used in resymbolizing a CAD file. The first method involves searching for a specific text string element in the file and replacing it with another string. In this specific case, the CAD file's actual name and the current date will replace the text strings respectively. Thus, the CAD file will generate the plot using the date and the file name as labels on the plot. In this exercise, you will review an existing PLT CFG and obtain the required line styles to be used in a design script. So, in this particular lesson, we'll focus on looking at existing PLT CFG standards and using those standards for a design script. On the previous lesson, we focused our attention on pin colors and weights, but this particular time, we'll focus our attention on the line styles. So what we'll do, I want you to open up your Highway 72 Plan and Profile DGN. It can be open with any particular Power Platform product, MicroStation, Open Roads, etc. I will use MicroStation. So once the Power Platform product has opened, in this case for me, MicroStation, let's go back to ProjectWise Explorer. If we look in the System Admin folder, Plotting, Design Scripts, you've been provided a Line Styles pin, which is basically a sample design script for you to use and edit. Let's double click it or right click and choose Open. This can be edited with a native text editor like Notepad++ or Notepad. Let's put those two products side by side, if we could. So in this situation, in MicroStation, let's go to File, Print, and Print again. This should provide us with the traditional MicroStation print dialog. We already have our Bentley driver in place, but if you'd recall from the last video, 
we can select any Bentley driver that we need that has our PLT CFG information. To do so, we would just hit the ellipsis and navigate within your project wide structure. System admin, plotting, PLT CFG. Here we can choose our PDF PLT CFG. Once you've selected the PDLT CFG, go to File, Edit Printer Driver Configuration. This will bring us the necessary line styles in this particular PLT CFG. If you double click one of the styles, you can see that you can change the measure of units, perhaps from dots to inches or to millimeters. So we'll keep ours in millimeters at this time. In the line style pin or your design script, you can also change the units. If you notice here, you can change the units to inches and inches must be spelled out when being used in a design script. Or you can abbreviate and use millimeters. And you notice here, I'll just have this one commented out for now. But you have both examples. And so what we're going to do is basically follow the sample code here and use the syntax by inputting the values for the pattern styles into our design script. I can quickly just copy and paste, but I need a comma to maintain our syntax. Let's continue. Style 2, just copy, then paste. And remember to use your comma for the correct syntax. Style 3. Style 4. Style 5. Style 6. And our last style, Style 7. To finish with your line styles pin or your design script, all you need to do is just hit save and close the notepad file and that will check this in to ProjectWise. But before we do that, I also want to make note of the Interplot help guide. If I go to start here on my computer and go to Bentley and look for the ProjectWise Interplot Help. This comes with your ProjectWise Interplot Organizer during your installation. This is a wonderful method to review and learn about design scripts. By going to Plotting MicroStation Data, and by the way, this is still the case even if you're using AutoCAD, using design scripts, we give you the methods on how to compare specific keywords. So if you want to do a comparison, say, of an element that happens to be on a certain level name, here's sample code that you can use to compare those elements and make changes. If you're going to make changes, that's using the assignment keywords. Say, for example, you want to change the print priority of an element, then you can use this sample code based off of a level I want to change the print priority. or perhaps. You want to make a change to say the thickness of a line or an element. Here's another wonderful piece of information that you can use to learn more about design scripts. You can use the comparison keywords to look for an element or a particular item or piece of text in a CAD file and then adjust that element using the assignment keywords. With the Project Wise Interplot help at your side, you can pretty much accomplish what you need at plot time with this tool. This concludes the lesson of using ProjectWise and Plot Design Scripts. Let's review what you've learned. During this lesson, you've learned how to create a design script to support the desired line styles and how to access sample design scripts for future reference. The next video will provide techniques on how to create a settings file to utilize the MicroStation pen table and design script for your plotting standards. Thank you.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.